your VO2 max and your grip strength are better predictors of how long you're going to live than whether or not you smoke, drink, uh, what your family history is for cancer. Like those things all matter, but it's amazing how dwarfed they are by those two. And my best explanation for it is that those are the best two integrators for the work you've done, right? So, you know, you can't cram for a VO2 max the week before. Like if you have a high VO2 max, you have done the work to get it. If you have a strong grip, you didn't just buy little grip squeezers on Amazon and and <laughs> filter away at them while you were, you know, on on calls on Zoom. Like you had to do the work. You had to be carrying heavy things, you know, whatever it be, chopping wood, carrying cinder blocks, doing farmer carries. And um, and of course, that also speaks to stability, right? That speaks to the stability that you have to be able uh, to to transmit force from the torso right to the hand. So um, so agree completely.